Tonight marked the last night of the Columbiana County Fair. So how did they spend it? With a demolition derby like anything else, a packed house filled the stands. First News reporter Jacob Thompson was there and he spoke to one driver on why he does it. He joins us live in the studio with that story new at 11. Yeah, Kaylee's cars colliding with each other may not sound like something you want to do on your Sunday evening, but for these people at Columbiana County Fair, it's part of who they are. It's a rush. It's just fun. That's Randy Swanson of Hanoverton. He's competed in close to 200 demolition derbies and has won about 30 of them. He says it's just become a family tradition. I grew up around it. My dad did it, my older brothers did it, and it's just something we've always enjoyed doing. He competed in a 1996 Mercury Grand Marquis. He says it doesn't take too much to keep yourself safe in this car. Cage, steering wheels, you know, nice and big. You're not going to get your hands hurt. Uh, neck brace, helmet, seatbelt, that's all you need. And these cars must go through inspection before they can compete. Oh, you see it all the time where people put stuff inside the cars and on the frames that they're not supposed to. Yeah, and they try to hide it the best they can. Adding steel to it, plates of steel, stuff like that, putting uh, steel inside the frame, putting concrete in it, stuff like that. But it's not only the adults smashing cars, the kids can as well. They have a power wheel division where kids around the ages of four to nine can use their electronic plastic toy cars to drive into each other. Then, if you're between the ages of 12 to 16 with no license or driver's permit, you can compete with a licensed driver. Randy Swanson tells me his son will do it next year. Since he's done it before, I figured I want to follow in his footsteps and be as great as him. I want to be as great as a person as he is. I want to be as great as a driver as he is. And I just love him. While he does have his son's name on the side of his car, He's also racing for family and friends he's lost to cancer. Lost my dad, my uncle, my grandpa, and one of our very close friends to cancer. Cancer's the devil. Uh, nobody deserves to go through that. Now, I, j I just got a text from Randy about half an hour ago, and he tells me that he won, so good job, Randy. But for now, live in the studio, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.